Now, it goes without saying that death can come at any given moment, from heart attacks to being struck by lightning. That's why you have to live every day as if it's your last, because it might well be. I'm Ryan from Tragic Tales, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the most unlucky deaths. Number 10. Lottie Michelle Belk Lottie was on holiday celebrating her 55th birthday, enjoying the sunset heat in Virginia, USA. When a stray airborne beach umbrella, blown by really strong winds, it stabbed her straight in the torso. She was rushed to hospital, but unfortunately, she did succumb to her injuries. Wind speeds at the time reached 20 to 25 miles an hour, according to the news station. Though some news reports simply state that the umbrella struck Lottie, police spokeswoman for the case clarified that Lottie was in fact straight up impaled and that the injury from the umbrella was the cause of her death. You're not even safe on the beach. Number 9. Valerie Ullus Anya Valerie was a 35-year-old English DJ, also known as DJ Chemistry. She was one half of the DJ duo Chemistry and Storm. On the 11th of November 1999, Valerie was doing her normal day job, was travelling to a gig in her Golf GTI on the M3 near Winchester. This was when she was instantly killed by a cat's eye that leapt from the Hampshire motorway and smashed straight through the windscreen and straight through her head, instantly killing her. The cat's eye was really heavy, it was cast iron and it weighed a whopping four and a half kilograms. It was found that it was propelled into the car by a passing van. Forensic scientist David Price said that was a lack of bitumen in the cat's eye, which is why it had become loose. Although one of the highway agencies said that there had been a visual examination literally the day before, with a detailed inspection a month prior, and no loose units had been found. Number 8. Gilbert Tinos on the 12th of February 2001, at approximately 8am, Gilbert was just doing his daily routine. He was driving his brand new 2000 Toyota Coma to work. He was travelling north when he was hit in the face by a random wheel that had become loose from an oncoming cement mixer. Now as the cement mixer was travelling southbound, the left rear wheel from the retractable booster axle completely detached, completely fell off. The wheel then bounced over the motorway, bounced onto the concrete bollard. The wheel then smashed straight into Gilbert's windscreen, hitting him in the head, immediately killing him. The cement mixer didn't even notice that the wheel had fallen off and actually travelled all the way to his destination and didn't even realise. Gilbert died from multiple skull fractures and brain injuries and obviously the driver of the cement mixer was absolutely fine. Number 7. Mildred Bowman and Alice Wardle Now this is a particularly horrifying and unlucky death. Mildred and Alice were the best of sisters. They took the treat holiday together in Spain and ended up dying after being trapped in their folded bed for four entire days. In August 2005, Mildred Bowman, 62, and Alice Wardle, 68, went on holiday to Benidorm. But on the first day, they had become entombed under the collapsed bed in their hotel room. The Spanish investigation found that the rooms were supposed to be cleaned on Mondays and Thursdays, and that when the cleaner went to gain entry on the Monday, he couldn't get in because the door was locked from the inside. But when the cleaner couldn't get in three days later on that Thursday, a maintenance technician was called to gain entry and the sisters were found. The pair had suffocated to death. Investigators found that the bed was not correctly lowered by the sisters, causing the base to be tilted instead of horizontal. The sisters had not been told how to lower it properly and there was no instructions inside the room. Screws and plugs on the bed's wall storage frame were not fitted properly. These gave way, causing the unit to collapse on top of the sisters as they slept. The coroner commented, I think these ladies were trapped at least since Monday, if not earlier. It horrifies me in many ways. Number 6. Humberto Hernandez This is a particularly unlucky one. On the 21st of June 2007, Hernandez was going about his usual day to day, walking along the sidewalk with his wife, when an SUV blew a tyre and went crashing straight into a nearby fire hydrant. When the SUV hit the fire hydrant, the impact broke the hydrant completely out of the ground, shot it at bullet-like speeds at a 45 degree angle towards Hernandez, who was only standing 10 feet away. The 200 pound iron hydrant hit Hernandez in the back of the head, immediately killing him. After hitting Hernandez, the hydrant still had enough velocity to ricochet through a fence before stopping. The officers that dealt with this case said that they've seen a lot of accidents, but they've never seen anything like this. Number 5. Judy K. On the 20th March 2008, Judy was out boating with her family, something their family did quite often. They were having a peaceful time, fishing away, when a huge 35 kilogram or 75 pound spotted eagle flew straight out of the water and hit her in the head. 
The force of the ray knocked the 55-year-old over and her head struck the deck of the ship. The ray, it died on impact. Judy was still alive when she got to hospital, but she passed away shortly after. Wildlife officials commented on this, just stating it was an absolutely freakish accident. How unlucky is that? Number 4. Diane Dewar Diane and her husband were traveling to sell a puppy to a buyer they'd met on Craigslist. They'd agreed to meet and make the sale at a nearby Taco Bell in a parking lot, deciding specifically to meet under the Taco Bell sign. So Diane and her husband, they pulled up, they parked right underneath the Taco Bell sign, and they awaited for the buyer. At the time, there was high winds, and the high winds just so happened to topple over the Taco Bell sign that they were parked underneath. The Taco Bell sign fell directly onto the car and immediately killed Diane. Her husband was absolutely fine and had to witness this whole ordeal, but that is one unlucky death. While paramedics were on the scene, the buyers of the puppy turned up and realized what had happened and they were absolutely distraught. Number 3. Larry Eli On the 28th of November 2009, Larry, who had worked at a supermarket, walked out of his home after an argument. His family reported him missing, but searches came up with nothing. He seemed to have disappeared into thin air. For 10 years, Larry was missing. He had no idea where he was. So after the argument, Larry, for some reason, went to his workplace, climbed on top of the freezer, and got behind one of the huge chillers. It has been reported that this is where employees would go to take a break without management knowing. However, when Larry got behind the freezer, it shifted backwards and trapped him behind it. He must have been screaming for help, but it's thought that the compressors of the freezers would have drowned out his voice. Larry was found over 10 years later when the store was doing a refurb. The store had been closed for many years at that time. He was identified using DNA and after the story came out, people came forward and said that the shop really smelt while they were in there. One even asking if a butcher had a really dirty workspace, which he replied no. So yeah, what a story. There was no signs of trauma and this has been deemed an accident. Number 2. Vladimir Likhonos Vladimir was a chemistry student in Ukraine. He was extremely eager, he was top of his class, he absolutely loved chemistry, so much so that he'd steal chemicals to take it home to do experiments. Now Vladimir, he had a bad habit of chewing his gum in citric acid. He said it added a bit of bite to his gum, but one day Vladimir bit down on that gum and it literally exploded in his mouth, tearing half of his face off. Jeff was working at home on his computer when his mother heard an explosion. She rushed upstairs and she saw Vladimir lying on the floor, bleeding profusely. Upon further examination, it was found that Vladimir had blown his entire jaw off and most of the lower part of his face. On the table where Vlad had been working, police found three and a half ounces of suspected explosive chemicals that looked identical to citric acid. It's thought that Vladimir must have stolen that from school, thinking it was citric acid, and confused the two chemicals. The exact chemical was unknown, but it's thought the force of him chewing down caused the reaction which caused the explosion. Number 1. Sam Ballard Sam was born in Sydney. He was at a party in early 2010 where they'd had a little bit much to drink and the group dared Sam to eat a slug that they'd found in his garden. Of course, Sam took up the dare and ate the slug whole. He soon complained of stomach problems, but the next day he woke up to immense pain throughout his body and just felt generally weak. Sam, he was rushed to hospital where they discovered he had a very rare type of worm that had infiltrated his body after eating the slug, causing a disease called rat lungworm disease. The worm is found in rats and rat poo, which is what slugs sometimes eat. The worm can make its way into the brain and ultimately kill you. Now, if you find the worm in your body, the patient can be saved, but Sam was not this lucky. After contracting this rare disease, Sam slipped into a coma for the next 420 days, waking up to be completely paralyzed, not able to eat, talk, or even regulate his body temperature. Sam spent the rest of his days completely disabled, but was still mentally all there. Eight years after eating the slug, the disease finally killed Sam at the age of 29. His final words were, I love you, mum. So that is 10 super unlucky deaths. All of them are tragic. All of them are unlucky. And it just makes you think, wow, anything can take you. You can be taken at any moment. So just appreciate your loved ones around you and make sure they know that they're loved. If you like this kind of content, click that like button, click that subscribe button, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video, but I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.